Hey guys, I'm Josh McCullum. I'm an osteopath and personal trainer, and today I'd just like to welcome you to my channel, Safe Hands Health Fitness and Rehabilitation, the Stability, Alignment and Flexibility Equation. I hope you find the videos useful and informative. If you do, please do feel free to share them with friends, family who may be suffering with further problems as well. Um, if there are any specific requests that you have, if you would like any information, please do just let me know via private message or via comments. So today I'm going to take you through a few stretches for the muscles called your scalenes in your neck. The scalenes themselves can cause so many different symptoms that they can imitate a lot of different problems. So you can tend to find that the scalenes can cause pain in the chest, they can cause pain in the back of the shoulder, pain down the arm, pain into the hand, so it can be mistaken for things like carpal tunnel in the wrist, cervical radiculopathy coming from the neck, disc issues in the neck. The scalenes themselves have three major functions. The first function, if they work together, is to bend your neck forward. The second function is the same side as you bend your head to, is going to be activating. So if I bend my head to the right, I activate the right scalene. And then the third function is they also assist in breathing, so the accessory respiratory muscles. Stage one of the scalene arm stretch is going to be passive. So passive means you're going to be using the opposite hand to stretch this side of the neck. So if I'm stretching the left, I put my right hand onto my head, I hold onto a chair with my left hand, and that's just going to help pull my shoulder downwards, which is going to get the first stage of the stretch. And then I'm just going to pull my head gently to the right hand side until I get a stretch going down the side of my neck. I'm going to hold that stretch there for 20 to 30 seconds. After 20 to 30 seconds, I'm going to use my hand to push my head back up to the center. By making sure I push my head back up, it stops you from activating all those muscles that you've just nicely stretched out. Stage two of the scaling stretch has three parts to it. With these three, you want to hold them in each position for about 20 to 30 seconds before moving on to the next position. You use the hand of the side that you're trying to stretch to hold on to the chair that you sat on. From there, you're going to bend your head down towards the opposite side until you develop a stretch just going down the side here. The next stage of that is then take your head down towards the opposite knee or your opposite armpit. And you're going to feel the stretch in a different area of the neck, but still around that side of it. And then the third stage is you're going to twist your head up. Again, make sure that you're still bending your head to the side. But then you're also going to look up into the top left corner if it's the left side. And then return to normal. Stage three of this exercise is making it a bit more dynamic. Dynamic means you're introducing movement to it, so it's going to be the same three motions, but you're just going to be moving between one and the next. So, take your head down to the other side there, bend your head down to the side, and then nice and slowly go back up, and back down, and back up, and back down. You can repeat that 10 to 12 times. If you do start to get any pins and needles, any numbness in the hand, if you do start to feel any pain in other areas, do make sure you either ease the stretch off or you stop completely and go consult an osteopath, a physio, a chiropractor, a GP.